Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We're going to be talking about the world's greatest Royal Rumble. This is going to be the full show preview. Um, this show, to me, honestly came out of the middle of nowhere. Uh, WWE is honestly trying to get a stronghold on the country of Saudi Arabia. Um, it looks like they're going to be focusing a lot of the, uh, the upcoming... Uh, tour um, to really getting into Saudi Arabia, whether that's getting a new television deal or just trying to make new fans or whether to try to spread the WWE network to uh, push that bottom line of, of having more subscribers. I know that uh, WWE has done tours of the Middle East uh, before. Um, they have that uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Bret Hart match off of the uh, uh, the Dungeon Collection, I know they went there and they hosted a tournament where I believe that, uh, um, not Bobby Lashley, shoot, Ahmed Johnson won the Kuwait Cup uh, back in the day. But, uh, you know, as, as you can see, WWE seems to focus each and every year on a new country um, that has a lot of people um, to try and move in there and, and, and try and spread the, the good name of WWE. They're really treating the world's greatest Royal Rumble show like it is bigger than WrestleMania. Um, they've already announced that this is going to have a 50-man Royal Rumble. This is going to surpass the uh, 2011 Rumble um, that was won by Alberto Del Rio. At that time, that was the largest Royal Rumble of all time where they expanded um, from 30 competitors to 40. I was not the biggest fan um, of that uh, change, uh, mostly because history had always put 30 guys in there and it had always worked. And honestly, since then, I've always wondered why they haven't done 40 cents. Um, uh, you know, there's so many brands uh, right now that there's you know the Monday Night Raw brand, there's the SmackDown brand, you have a 205 Live guys. Um, as well as having all of that UK talent, and you could always bring up guys from NXT, um, not to really give them a debut, but give them sort of like a fresh look at what um, you know the, the Rumble is, and, and give it sort of some fresh faces to be in there. I mean, you go back and you watch those early '90 Rumbles, like especially like the one where they were in the Alamo Dome. I believe that was in like '95 or '96. You know, that thing was full of a lot of Mexican talent that we had never heard of and we'd never seen since uh, because of the fact that they were just trying to get um, a lot of people fired up um, for Mexico. I can't remember if you know, WWE made a deal uh, with AAA um, at that time or who they made a deal with, um, but they were able to bring in a, a lot of guys. Um, you know, for this Rumble, you see a lot of returning faces. Um, we're going to see Chris Jericho coming back. We're also going to see Rey Mysterio come back. Um, this brings up the question, you know, why is Rey Mysterio able to work um, the world's greatest Royal Rumble when he was not able to work WrestleMania? Rey Mysterio was one of the uh, names that was mentioned to be Braun Strowman's uh uh, surprise tag team partner at WrestleMania 34, as well as for a minute, it was sort of thought of that, you know, Rey Mysterio would come back and have a matchup against John Cena. Um, so they are really pulling out all the stops for this show to make it seem like it's bigger than WrestleMania, only to have a show on the WWE Network. Uh, I think it's going to be on at like nine in the morning where I live on a Friday. So, I mean, it really works out for me. I'll be able to watch the, the whole show um, before um, uh, my kids get home from, from school. So it's not like I'm really gonna miss out on anything to watch this show on a Friday. It's gonna be a lot like that NXT TakeOver show um, that was live from London. That thing was a real treat um, that we were, you know, we were all getting together and we were all watching uh, wrestling. And it was on at such a weird time that the show was over and we still had time to do just about anything we wanted to do in the world. Uh, because I think that show ended at like 2 or 2.30 um, in the afternoon. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm scratching in my head why this seems like it's going to be a bigger show than WrestleMania. It's going to have um, seven big matches as well as the... Uh, 
going to have seven big matches uh, as well as the, the Royal Rumble itself. So, I mean, it's it's almost like a WrestleMania card. Um, one, one of the highlighted matches is not going to be a championship match, but it is going to be Triple H um, versus John Cena. I'm guessing that we have not seen this match um, since somewhere around 2010 to 2011. Of course, this was a WrestleMania main event um, back at WrestleMania 22. I believe um, so I mean there is a lot of history behind this and to be able to see something that we haven't seen in so long um, is, is gonna be a really good treat so I'm looking forward to sitting down and talking um, about this as I'm heading down to uh, downtown Sacramento um, to take care of some business and help my grandma out so uh, let's strap her in and we'll head on down peace out